Sawa, pineapple, meatball, and spaghetti or linguine. Guys, I'm going to sit down outside and I'm going to have a bite in this. You see that? So we have our pot. We're going to add two cups of water. My pot was hot before, guys. So that's what you're hearing. Now we're going to take pineapple. Guys, I'm using the... um. The, the fruit, this is not the um, can, this is the fruit. I use half pineapple. So yes, if you don't have fresh pineapple, you could use um, the pineapple that comes in the pan. Okay, so this is half pineapple here I'm using. So we're going to let this simmer down. So as that boiling down, we're going to move on to our mincemeat, okay? I seasoned my mincemeat yesterday. Guys, the seasoning is going to be listed below. I use three different types of all-purpose seasoning. I use black pepper, salt. I use Goya seasoning. I use a little bit of turmeric and um, some meat seasoning. Um, all-purpose meat seasoning okay that's all in here so what we're gonna do to make our mincemeat bowl guys guys you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise in the background my husband is vacuuming so that's that noise and you may hear my little one because they're home today with me so we're gonna continue so to make our meatballs okay I'm gonna use some of the meat to make the balls and I'm gonna use some of the meat to just a sauce okay so the ones that I'm gonna make I'm gonna take it I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour between it just to bind it together so that way when it cooking it does not get um to it doesn't fall apart while I'm cooking it while it's cooking down okay so I just add a little bit of flour to this knead it together like we need in a dough and then I'm gonna make my balls we're gonna make our balls I hope you guys see what I'm doing I'm not making too much guys because this is for my son he wants meatball so we were making some meatball in pineapple sauce, okay? So now we have this. We're going to take like a piece, okay? You can make, make your meatball any size you want to. It's up to you guys. But I'm making like not too small, not too big. This size is what I'm making. So we're just going to keep rolling out. I'm probably going to get 10. So I will water. And our pineapple is coming to a boil. Most of the liquid is out. Okay, so this is good. Now, what we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna add in our seasoning. We have one pimento, two green onion, half of onion, one whole tomato, and two cloves of garlic. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to mix this up nicely like this and we're going to leave it for three minutes and then we're going to come in and add our minced meat or our meatballs, okay? So now we're going to go in with our sauce. I'm using, guys, garden, six vegetables and fine herbs I'm using, okay? So we're going to go in with a pan of sauce now I'm gonna put my fire still a medium okay so I'm gonna put my meatballs in guys 
at this point after putting your meatballs you're gonna taste for salt spice and add if you need more spice you're gonna add okay so this at after at this point you're gonna do your taste make sure everything is okay you don't want to push too much in meatballs too much because you're gonna mash mash it okay and the rest mince meat you're just gonna like put it to the side just flatten it around okay you're gonna do your tasting now okay after everything is placed nicely you're gonna go in and you're gonna taste Mine's is good. I just need a little bit of sugar. So at this time, I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar. Okay? Give it a light mix. You don't want to mix too much to mash up your meatballs. Okay? So you're going to give it a light mix and leave it on a low fire and let it cook slowly for about 10 minutes. And then you come back and check. You go in now make sure you add like all your extra necessary that needed your ketchup you taste for if you need more salt if your sugar is enough you know just make sure the flavor come together and remember don't push too much because you're going to mash up your meat balls slowly does it so now we're going to cover this down for 10 minutes on a low steam and we come back and check the pot I'm gonna boil some linguine spaghetti to have with these meatball here so yes guys I'm gonna leave it for another 10 minutes on a low steam fire and then I think we will be ready look at our meatball you see it's not mush but we could find our balls they're still here okay so this is it and yes, we're still seeing those pieces of pineapple. What well, you could go in now, mash. Just mash the pieces, some of them. Okay? And taste again and make sure your taste is the perfection before that 10 minutes come up and you turn off your stove.